Hello, everybody. Looks like I'm live. Uh, hi, this is the first time I've done this, so um, should be interesting. Uh, so this is my cat, Tiki. Of course, she uh, wants to wants to come say hi first thing. Uh, so hello and welcome to my live art show. Um, tonight, I'm going to show you some things I've been working on recently and um, show you how it how it works, how the sale is going to work, and um, we'll, we'll go from there. So um, hello, if you're just weren't joining us. Uh, so the way this works is there is a link in my bio and in the um, description of the of the live on Facebook that has the link to my website where the live show uh, artworks are listed. Um, hey, hi. She just really wants to be here today. She just really wants to be a part of this. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so how it works is it's going to be first come, first served. Um, the pieces that I'm showing tonight, I'm showing because they are metallics and very hard to photograph. I knew she'd be all over this. I knew it. <laughs> um, yeah, so the ones I'm showing tonight are italics, metallics, or they have um, texture to them. That's why I'm listing them for this live sale. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. You just don't like not having only my attention, do ya? All right. Uh, okay, so you can go to that link that's in my bio or in the description to to see the work that I have available. Um, so uh, the reason that I'm showing these pieces is that they're metallics, uh, or they have some dimension to them, um, and they're really really hard to photograph. Like that's that's the biggest thing I think is that I was having a lot of trouble with that. So I'm going to start with this first one. Uh, this one is called Sashiko. Uh, the, the name is from the pattern, which is a, referencing a Japanese textile pattern. Um, and you can see, you know, you can see the metallics on there, the way the gold shines. Um, it's also got a gloss varnish, which I just, I just love the gloss varnish. Um, they are all eight inches by eight inches on wood paneled cradle board. And you can see on the back, well, there's the little number, so I know which one it is. Um, they are all signed and numbered. Uh, so here's the title, Sashiko, the gear, my stamp, my signature, and also my inventory number. So there's this one. This one is one of my favorites. Uh, so this is the first one. So I encourage comments and questions. Um, as we go along, I will try to um, take a break to answer some of those. I hope you brought uh, something nice to drink and some nice slippers. Um, I have tea. If you know me well, you will know what kind it is. <laughs> All right, this is the second one. So this one is called Patchwork Heart Number no. Two. Uh, it's a collage made of uh, some of my gel printed papers. Tiki, Tiki. <laughs> She just, she just can't handle that being the uh, center of attention. Uh, yeah, so this one is made of um, some of my gel printed papers with collage. Uh, so it's uh, glued onto the board and you can see there's um, some dimensional, um, I forget what it's called. It's like a relief paste, just outlining the heart. So they're all super shiny, which I absolutely love. And again, this one is is signed and numbered as well, wired, so it's ready to hang. Uh, so this is number two. All right, what do we got next? This is the third one, which I call gold diamonds. Whoops. Don't do that to your paintings. That's not good for them. <laughs> uh, so this one is also made of collage from my gel printed papers. Uh, so you can see some different textures in here. I've got some lovely uh, pink and yellow stripes down here because who doesn't love a good pink and yellow stripe? Um, There's some different textures in here made with uh, using my stencils on my gel print plate. Tiki, hi. <laughs> Uh, and this this one has some texture to it. So the the gold diamonds are actually textural. They are made with modeling paste, and so that's one of the reasons that I just cannot seem to get a good photograph of this. Um, so I should say that 
uh, all of these works are $250. Normally I'd sell them for $300, but because I can't get a good photograph of them, it seemed better to do a live art sale uh, where I can give you guys a deal as well as um, stop my photography problem. So, thanks. <laughs> all right. Next one is one of my butterflies. Uh, so this is butterfly number four. Again, it's got the, the copper dimensionality to it, um, which makes it really hard to photograph. You can see a little bit in the light, the shine, the sheen. Um, I really like the orange and blue combo on this and the actually the subtle texture background here. Uh, that's another one of my gel prints. It, um, it looks like river rocks to me. So yeah, so that's that one. Again, it's eight by eight wood paneled cradle board signed and numbered and ready to hang. Okay, so if you've just joined us, uh, I'm doing my live art show tonight. Um, so I'm showing the works that I have available and you can purchase any one of these on my website. The link is in my bio and also in the description of the uh, Facebook live video. Uh, so it's first come first serve. There's only one of each of these because they're originals and I am not, uh, I won't be making prints of them because they're so hard to photograph. So this is it. <laughs> uh, okay. So next one, this is butterfly number five. Um, this one is silver. It's got some really lovely silver foiling on the edges there. And the background again is, um, gel printed using my own stencils. Um, so you can see some of the, you know, the color combination here is just lovely. I really like the pink and the blue and the yellow. More texture dimension here with the silver. Yeah. And again, this one is always ready to hang. Yeah. And again, this one is always ready to hang, signed, you know, fully wired. So you can hang it by there or you can hang it by two nails under here, depending how you like to do it. So there's that one. If you have any questions or any comments, um, just put them in the chat and I will do my best to answer them as we go. All right. So number six, this is butterfly number six. Um, again, this is another one collage made of gel prints. Uh, this one I use a grattage technique on it, put the black paint on. So essentially what that means is I rub the paint over, um, well, I put it on a paper to start, uh, like a resistant paper, and I've rubbed it over a stencil or something to give it uh, the texture, and then I've applied it to the, the gel print underneath. Um, so that one is over a gel print that's, that's pink and purple, uh, but you can see the black texture there as well. So again, these are all varnished, uh, completely ready to go. Um, and the Relief on this one is the gold foil, or sorry, silver foil outline of the butterfly and the dots, of course. And another part of my favorite details on this are the, actually the gold edges. Uh, I don't know if you can quite see that. It's got a little bit of the gold edge there. Quite lovely. So again, eight by eight on wooden cradle panel board signed and ready to hang. So I should also say that the shipping on these is free to Canada and the United States. So. You don't have to worry about that. You just, uh, what you do is you can put in all your information to the website and check out right from that one page and it'll collect everything I need. And, uh, I'm hoping to mail things out, uh, middle of next week is the plan. So yeah. <laughs> all right. So number seven, this one is, uh, ingeniously titled green rings. Um, Honestly, I have no idea what else to call it. It's an abstract piece. Um, and this one has a dimensional uh, gold foil around the rings. I don't know if you can see that. It's so hard to show these in, like, in a way that actually shows what they are on video and camera. So, yeah. So there's that one. Again, 8x8 eight eight wooden cradle board. Signed and numbered. $250. So this is number eight, sorry, number seven uh, on the website. You should be able to, to find it there if you're interested in that one. All right. 
Next one. This one is number eight. I really like this one, but I mean, I love pink, even though I feel like, you know, I shouldn't love pink. It's a little, a little bit girly for me, but that's totally okay. Uh, this one is called Step Up. It's kind of got this um, golden ladder going up here, which is, um, that's, dimensional as well. So that was made doing, using a modeling paste and one of my stencils. Uh, so for instance, I can show you a little bit about how this works. So here's, here's the stencil I was using. It's just a piece of um, plastic dividers from, you know, the, the dollar store. Um, and the way that that would work is I would put this on my painting, like so, put some modeling paste on top and smear it around with the um, with the spatula and then pull it up and what's ever not on the stencil stays on the painting and and uh, that's what it looks like got it upside down here um, so again these are collage um, using my gel prints uh, so all of these patterns are made with different stencils and different textures different textures as well hi Marley hi Margo Jeff Amanda it's good to see you all you guys so this is number eight it's called Step Up. This one, uh, this one is a lot of fun. This one reminds me of like a birthday party or something. Uh, so the title of this one is Celebration. Um, so again, it's a collage using my handmade gel printed uh, papers. Um, and I've actually cut out all of this uh, layering here. So the, the loops uh, and the pattern down here are all cut, and you can see uh, there's some gold foil, or sorry, I don't know my colors today, silver foil on the bottom and on the top, uh, and outlining the um, some of the shapes here, and that that is actually dimensional. It's so much, these are so much prettier in real life, I can't believe, uh, can't believe the difference it makes. Um, so you can see why taking a photograph to list on my website just isn't a, isn't a thing for these. So please excuse the terrible photo photography on the website. <laughs> so again, um, eight by eight, ready to ship, uh, signed and numbered, number nine. So yeah. Uh, okay, so if you've just joined me, um, I'm having a live art shit art sale from my studio today. Um, and everything that I'm going to show today is available on my website. Um, the link is in the bio and also in the description of my um, Facebook Live. So you can find everything there. Uh, it should be pretty easy. You just pop in your information, hit go, and I'm hoping to send them out next week. Um, it is first come, first served, again, because uh, there's only one of each and I'm not making prints or anything like that. So when they're gone, they're gone. All right, a couple more to go. This one is really fun too. You can tell I have a thing for like really loud, bright colors. Um, this one is called Fireworks. Uh, so again, it's a collage of my gel prints um, with uh, some fireworks superimposed on top. Uh, so those were using the stencil technique as well. They are dimensional. I'm trying to show you this, but it doesn't really, it's hard to show how much it actually stands out off the edge of the, the surface of the painting. Um, so again, that's my own design. So that would be stenciled on using modeling paste. Um, and they're all completely varnished and uh, should be able to stand up to, you know, UV light protected and all that stuff too. So the way you would actually clean some of these is actually just use a like a lint-free cloth um, and just wipe it down. You know, it shouldn't take too much maintenance. You just want to keep the dust off and, and wipe it down. No water though. <laughs> Water's not good for paintings. So... So yeah, so this is number 10. It's called Fireworks. Um, it's also signed and numbered and inventoried and eight by eight on cry wood cradle board. So yeah. All right, last one. So this one is the last one. This one is called Troika. Um, that means three, and for me, this one seems to have like three three nuclei, I guess you could say, like right here, here, and here. Um, I really love the colors on this one. The dimensionality here is in the middle panel. Uh, there is um, like a copper dimensional texture there. I don't know if you can see that kind of around the middle point and between the, um, the two 
other prints. Um, yeah, so this one I quite like too. I might just keep that one for myself. We'll see. <laughs> uh, so this is number 11. Uh, again, signed, numbered, completely ready to hang. Yeah. So that's it. Um, if there's any questions in the chat, I'm just going to take a little quick look. Oh, Amanda says my space looks lovely. Thank you, Amanda. Lots of hellos. That's awesome. Okay. Marley likes the name. Cool. <laughs> okay. So, um, you can find all the information in the link that I've sent. Um, you've heard me say that a few times now, so that's where it is. Um, I want to thank you all very much for coming and for putting up with my special studio assistant visitor. <laughs> uh, usually, oh, she's not there right now. Usually she's hanging out on this, uh, drawers in the back here. She just sits there and, you know, sleeps while I work, but today she wanted to talk to you all. So yeah. So yeah. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions or anything, uh, send me a message. Uh, I would love to talk more. I think I will leave this up for a couple of days. Um, we'll see how it goes, but again, you know, it's first comes first served and once they're gone, they're gone. I see, I see a question from Marley, who I actually know is Denise. <laughs> uh, she says, questions, what is my favorite tool? My, oh, in the studio, my favorite tool in the studio. Um, this, it's a brayer for printmaking. So it's how I spread the ink out on my gel plate. So, so one of these days I will um, do another live where I'm actually showing a little bit more about the process and how I make things. Um, Stay tuned for that. All right, I'm going to call it a night. Thank you all for coming and uh, see you soon. Bye.